The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to start out the show here. Uh, Paula Webb will be our guest here uh, at the uh, break. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to have uh, Grace Morris of Astroeconomics. She'll be talking to us, of course, about NVIDIA's earnings, which will come out today. And then on Friday, we have the wizard himself from Naples, Florida, Norm Winsky. So we've got two astrological people two days in a row. Here is the Treasury bond, folks. We are completing a pattern known as the lightning bolt. It was also called the ABCD pattern. I don't know if you folks know this or not, but when Gardley wrote the book in 1937, he had four or five people copy parts of that book. The one that was most famous was a man named Franklin Tubbs. 1951, he came out with the, uh, I forget what he called it, uh, uh, you know, I, I'll have to remember, but he charged $2,000 for it, which was uh, more than Gartley charged for his book, which was $1,500 in 1937, and it was basically the A, B equals C, D pattern, the Franklin Tubbs, it was an A, B, C, D uh, Charles Lindsay came out in 74 and called it P1, P2, P3, P4. Exactly the same thing. They were doing exactly the same thing. So I'm doing the same stuff many people have done, but it works for me. It, you know, it doesn't work all the time, but it works some of the time, and that's all you really need to do. So here's what we're watching here in the bonds. Now, we've made new lows now over the last six days, but it hasn't fallen out of bed yet. Now, I'm not sure if the Fed is speaking now or not, but the low so far today was 117.21. We're trading at 117.24. Now, if you're interested in buying bonds, I don't know if the Fed's out there or not, but if the Fed is out there, you still got to put your stop in here somewhere. You know, so if you want to risk 10 ticks, 20 ticks, 5 ticks, well, 5 ticks is probably too small, but nothing less than 10 ticks, this is the place where you take your shot. That's basically, you know, what you're looking at. I, I know uh, a lot of folks here uh, get tired of hearing ABC all the time, but folks, the only reason I say it because it works a lot of the time. I've never found anything else that works as well as this. Look at this on just on a little bit daily right here. There's your ABCD leg right there. Now here you see it went quite a bit above it. It was supposed to come in at 124.20 and it came in at 125.30. It went a whole point before it went over. And then on the way down, you'll see here it is again. There's your ABCD right there. And this one came in spot on exactly within two ticks then rallied up and so here's where we are right now i just bought them and i bought them 25 and put a stop at uh, 10 so i'm going to risk 15 ticks and i'll tighten that up if it starts making lower lows i don't know if the fed's out there or not because i really don't i really don't follow them too much and you know what folks they don't follow me too much either so we're pretty much tied okay now let's move on to something else that several people have been asking me about and that is the stock market. And let's get up here for one second here. See, here's where we were. We're going to go back here just for uh, kicks and giggles, all right? Because market has come down very, very quietly. Here's where we were Sunday night. Okay, there was the 382 right there. That was the one from Sunday night when we were on vacation and getting ready for the holiday. There it was right there. Hit right on the money at, uh, well, it missed it by half a tick. But, uh, well, actually, yeah, it did, 29.50, uh, 50.29.50. The high was 50.29.50, so it missed it by half a point, and that's pretty close. So um, we, we, were, we were using the Dow Jones, which made it, so that was okay. We're still short that. Now we're coming down, but it's very quiet. Look, three, four days down, very, very quiet. This market's not falling out of bed for any reason. So if we look at this on a hourly chart, just get it up here, You'll see it's just coming down to where we're almost at the 78% level. 
right in here. There, there is your 78. We made a lower low just a second ago, right in here. Didn't go anywhere, so this is acting pretty nicely. So watch for, watch for another retracement. What I'll be watching for today, if the Fed does anything crazy, is to go up and just to see if there's going to be some type of a 382 rally in here somewhere. You'll see it. That would come in here at 5020. That's a 382 off the high. So that that'll be a big one. That'd be up 25 handles, folks. You think there not going to be some people that were short in here? Not going to get scared up in here? Well, of course they will. So that's why you got to be you got to be super careful doing it. The ABCDs they work. I keep saying this. They work about 60 percent of the time, folks. And the other 40 percent. Uh, that you're you're gonna you're gonna law you're gonna lose and all you have to do is try to handle your losses and you should be you should be handling it okay that's the way i'm looking at it. we've got a we've got a couple of positions on now we've uh, we bought wheat today uh, uh well i'll just re reiterate it because the wheat made a 382 retracement we were uh this was really i missed this one right there you see it hit it exactly right there so we bought the wheat there our stop now is one tick below here so we're risking basically basically less than fifty dollars in that but look at this folks on the uh, daily chart this was a uh, uh that's not the one i want i want four hour hold on that's the one i want to watch there's the four hour chart look at it right here this is going back over since december the number came in at 552 the low was 550 uh, 552. You can see 553 was the 1.27 uh, expansion right in here. And then we had a little bit of a rally. All it's done is just back off to the 382 so far. Might be a little early, but, uh, you know, we've got a full moon coming in tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day, both Thursday and Friday, will all be part of it because it takes three days for that full moon to, you know, go through its little dance that it does every uh every uh, 14 days from full moon to new moon and we'll, we'll see what happens there now all i do with the full moon i just count the days folks i'm not interested in whether it's a lunar thing or whether the moon is in scorpio or any of that kind of stuff i just look at the counts and i count them to see if i can get something that tells me there's some symmetry there that's really all i'm trying to do when i do this it's it's kept me in the game for a long time and i hope it'll keep me in the game you know a lot longer so those are some of the things that i'm uh, watching now just to show you today the value of the 382 here is the dow jones okay now here was the high that we made here on friday you see today's high was in we made a low and then we rallied up and made the high right up in here and then we've come down so i'm watching to see if it gets back up to this level one more this is still made a 382 it came within five pips of the exact 382 from that level then it broke all the way down and it's been bouncing around all morning so that's what we're that's what we're uh, watching today with these markets. But none is more important than the Treasury bonds, and the reason for that is, folks, that's the biggest market of them all, and that's the one that you want to pay very very close attention to. Okay, now quick quick view of the soybeans here. We were trying to buy the soybeans today at 48. And we did. The number was 47. We bought it at 48. It had a little bit of a rally here. And I saw that rally. And the first thing I did, eh, let's just go back and look to see if there's trouble in paradise. And there it was right there, folks, almost exactly at the 382. So this market's not stopped going down, but it's getting close, in my opinion. But remember, opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it usually is a little smelly. Let's move on. Take a break here pay a few bills for tfnn and we'll be right back 877-927-6648 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, you can see here, this is the Bible that I live by. This is uh, 20 pages of my notes that I took with Mark here for, Mark Douglas here for six years from 96 to uh, 03, uh, actually almost seven years. And uh, it was a revelation to me. I mean, I'd known him for so long and we were very close. He was the uh, best man at my wedding and you know, Paula married us, of course, and uh, we traveled the world lecturing and <laughs> over the years of Mumbai and uh, golly gee, just uh, so many places. Anyway, I uh, miss him. I miss joining him in a great deal, but they're still in my heart because I, when I see this book here, I can see Mark sitting next to me, you know, drilling these things into me. And believe me, folks, being a hard-headed Italian like I am, it was not easy for him. But we made fun uh, of the situation. We got it done. Took a long time, but uh, it was, I mean, I was doing good. I mean, I was not, the uh, problem was I thought I knew more than I did. I knew a lot about the markets. But I did know about the most important cycle, which was the left ear to the right ear. So I'm going to take a few minutes here because I know some of you folks, you look at the patterns and you think that they're important. They are in some respect because it's a trigger mechanism. But the mechanism that means the most is the mechanism. It's between that, that nine ear, between this ear and that ear, that, that nine inch cycle. And that's the one you've got to get right. Once you get that right, you know, you've got it made. People ask me all the time, well, how do I know? whether I can afford to take the risk. Well, if you can, it's simple, it's a dollar amount. Can you afford to take a risk of $600? If the answer is yes, then you gotta take the trade. If it's a completed pattern, you gotta do it. Now, you'll notice right here, here's one that I'm looking for, whether it happens or not, I don't know, but we're in an oversold market, and I think we've got a possibility of making this 61% retracement here, especially if the Fed's out here doing something. So I'll be looking to be a seller here with my stop above here. Now, I covered when you know we had this big move down today because I you know I believe in A B equals C D. Let me just quickly do this right here. 
because there was your first ABC. Now, I'm not, I'm not watching the NASDAQ today. I'm not watching the S&P. I'm just watching and look at the low. I mean, is that hard to figure that out? There was a low, 40, 50, all right? What did we do? We rallied up to the 382, then we backed off, and this is what we're doing. We're backing and filling right now. So that's what my game plan happens to be. But that doesn't mean anything. This is what means something, folks. This little thing right here, because let me just go through some of these things. In order to be successful as this, you have to have a foundation of absolute trust in the patterns and the ratios that you're dealing with, number one. Number two, you have to have a pattern of trust for protecting your big you-know-what, your big kahuna that you set on all the time. Because if you're not out there protecting yourself, folks, you might as well go over to McDonald's and start flipping burgers because it's just a matter of time before they hand you your lunch. Might not be today, might not be tomorrow, might not be for three weeks, three months, three years, but when they get you, they'll get you big time because you've got to be able to handle that risk and be able to protect yourself against it. That's the only protection you have is the stop loss orders that is out there. What would the Fed would, would come out here today and let's say in about 20 minutes said, well, the economy's actually, these figures are not really as strong as they should be, so we're going to start cutting interest rates right now. What do you think would happen to the stock market and the bond market? Well, you're right. They'd probably have one heck of a rally. Maybe not. I don't know. But I'm saying that's, that's the risk that you have to take if you're out there doing that. So you've got to remember to do that. You has to formulate these rules for yourself with a hesitation. Number one is you ask yourself, this was, this was right out of Amos Hostetter. If you can afford to take the risk, okay, that's number one. And if you are sure that you're protected, that's number two. You must take the trade because one particular reason that we all know, no one knows what's going to happen next. And I mean no one. So if you can answer both those questions, yes, I can afford to take the risk and I can protect myself, then you can put this you can put the trade on. I get at least one email a day. How much should I risk if I'm going to do something? I can't tell someone how much they're going to risk. I don't know what their bank account could be two million, twenty million, you know, three hundred dollars. I don't know. You have to find out what that risk factor is. Now everything that we trade here is based on usually a maximum with like crude oil and, and now the S&P. Crude oil, gold, and the S&P have a risk factor of about 1000 bucks, somewhere between 800 and $1,000. That'll cover almost anything. But look how nicely that ABCD worked today in the Dow Jones. It went right down to the bottom and flat stopped right there. I mean, that's over the last couple of days, but that was it, you know. So this was yesterday's high, intraday high, boom, there it is. So... Nothing more than that. So all I'm doing is reversing the process, seeing what's going to go up here. So I ask myself the question, hmm, can I afford to take the risk? Yes. Am I protected against that risk? Yes. Then I have to take the trade. The reason why is I don't know which one's going to work. And you know what? I don't really care. That's, that's the bottom line. I just really don't because I just keep doing them and I keep doing them and I keep doing them. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they work. But overall, it's going to get you to the promised land. Yeah, you're going to have times where you lose five, six, seven, heck, as many as 11 times, 12 times. But boy, when you're on fire, you, they gets it all back very quickly. By the way, those uh, four and five times in a row, those are outlier events. You don't see those uh, very often. So you got to remember, if it's a valid signal, you know how much you're going to risk, then you have to put the trade on because you don't know what's going to happen next. And that'll what that will do, if you do that, it'll develop the, the consistency that you need to put all the trades on, not just the ones you think are, think are the best. Folks, the one that I think are the best are the ones that hardly ever work for me. You, you, you guys have been following me for a long time, and you know when I'm really, really excited about something, you know, my goodness, you'll be, be more careful about that than anything because yeah, those are the ones that scare me. Look at this. There's no way this one cannot work, and what? Boom, it didn't work. So that's why you got to get used to doing that. You know, I, I used to sit here listening to Mark talking to some of these guys that paid him a lot of money. Uh, and these guys were really famous. Uh, their names are household words in our, our words in our names in our business, and they had the same things going on in their mind. You know, why do I know what's going to happen next? And they all ask the same thing. And once you know, Mark would sit there and spend one or two days just explaining to him, you don't know what's going to happen next. No one knows the future. 
no one except God, and she quit trading a long time ago. She didn't need the money. Anyway, that's what that's what this is all about: is to try to find the ones that uh, line up the best. And but this whole book here is uh, thirty some pages of all the things that uh, everything. And of course, the uh, number one thing on this big page right here it says money management always takes precedent over technicals. No question about that. I know you've heard the story about the guy that was in the uh, Maryland office that day. He was a big GAN guy, and he said, there is no way that soybeans are going to go, you know, a penny below. I think it was 525, 625. I don't remember the number, but it was, let's say it was 825. And the guy picked up the phone. I, it was Jack Waldock, the Barry Lynn's a partner, and he picked up the phone and he said, uh, "He said, sell me 20 July beans uh, at the market, and they dropped seven cents." It was late in the day, markets were thin, and the guy walked out of the office disillusioned. He ended up teaching Gan for many years, but uh, that was one instance where he said they could never go below there, and one trader. With the you know deep pockets and 20 beat 20 contracts for beans back in those days was a lot now it's nothing you know <laughs> peanuts hey let's take a break here we're gonna have paula t webb coming on the phone here in just a second so we'll be right back gold report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, we're back, folks. So we have Paula Webb Tomasini Douglas. I, did I do that right? Is it Tomasini Webb or Webb Tomasini? <laughs> <laughs> That's a family hey, joke. Any, folks. Anything you call me is just fine, Larry. <laughs> as long as it's not late for dinner, I understand. Which she happens to be one of the best cooks around. Uh, Paula T., one of the things that I have, you know, from when people drop me emails is that uh, how do I know whether a trade is going to work or not? And I try to beat it into them just like Mark did to me. Is you're never going to know that. You know, that's the whole right. reason of trading is because you don't know it's going to happen. How do you how do you handle that when people, you know, bring that question to you? Well, anybody who asks that obviously doesn't believe there's always opportunity in the market, right? That makes good sense. So yeah, they're right. they're kind of like counting on that specific trade to be a winner. So, you know, that kind of has to go back to the basics of if you don't believe that there's always opportunity, then you know, how can you see actual market data when you're looking at your chart and doing your analysis? You have sure. to always believe that at any given moment, sorry, I got something in my eye. Um, at any given moment, the market can provide you an opportunity to take profit. And you can't just hang it all on one trade. That's right. And, and yeah. you know, there's, there's, you know, further things that go on there um, in terms of, um, you know, you may not believe in your rules. You may not be following your rules because you don't believe in them. And so, you know, you tend to ha wish and hope instead of actually having an objective state of mind to achieve your trading goals. And that's pretty typical, especially yep. Yep. not even just in new traders. I mean, even seasoned traders can fall into that, shall we say, closed loop again of wishing and hope, and especially in today's markets. Do you have any special exercises that when you work with someone uh, that, that helps them get through that stuff? I know you do because I did it with you for <laughs> many years, too. <laughs> that's a, that's yes, a trick yes. question. <laughs> well, Party, one, one, of the, <laughs> one of the things that I always ask traders who get stuck in this closed loop and other ones as well is, what kind of promises did you make to yourself the last time you, hang your, you hung your hat on one specific trade that went south? What did you know after the trade went south and you and it turned into a loser for whatever reasons? What did you promise yourself? You promised yourself you weren't going to do that again, right? Yep, we all we all do that. We all say, Okay, God, you know, give me a winning trade and you know, I'll follow my I'll rules. Never I, do promise, this again. I promise, <laughs> yeah. and and yet they don't, they don't yeah. follow through on their promises. So, you know, what I what I tell traders to do is you have to sit down and ask yourself why making a promise to yourself to learn how to take profit and keep it, why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you follow through on that considering it's your money that you want to grow? It's your money that you worked for to open a trading account with. So why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you make that investment in yourself and follow through on that promise to follow your rules as only you yep. know how, right? Does that That's make right. sense? Absolutely, yep. Sounds like so Mark's good. sitting right here with me once again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> we didn't uh, write the books together for no reason, but I should clarify that. The Discipline Trader is actually, for sure, Mark and I wrote that together, and finally, after all these years, the publisher is adding my name as co-author to The Discipline Trader. Yeah, so that's uh, that, that's I, I just want to mention that because there's always confusion because my name isn't on the first two books, but... It will be on the Discipline Trader. Trading in the Zone, I didn't necessarily co-write with him. As you know, he sat in your home writing a lot yeah. of it. But I, I did the editing. Um, you and, sure you know, did. As you, know, <laughs> you know, he shared yeah. a lot of that material with both of us to see if we understood it first. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of like the test market <laughs> for trading in sure the zone. Were. But you know, um, what's, really, what's really amazing to me, even after all these years, that trading is really so simple. You have a belief in what you're doing. You know how to protect your your rear end. You know how to put the order in. That that's all there is to it. I mean, you can you exactly. know, do all the technical stuff you want, but if you know what you're doing and you have a belief in it and you protect yourself, you don't know what the hell's going to happen next. Just do it, you know, and roll with the dice. You know. 
Right. Um, I'm sure people might, well, maybe not our younger viewers, but uh, a lot of people might remember Ron Popea, who had all those ga kitchen gadgets, and he had oh, that yeah. rotisserie. Yeah, oh, and, yeah, the guy on TV, sure, yeah. Yeah, right. He made billions of dollars with his little quirky yeah. little uh, 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 phrases. And stuff, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and for the, um, the tabletop rotisserie, which... Mark and I had one of those. His mother gave us for a Christmas present one year. Um, that phrase was set it and forget it. And so that's what I tell traders, you know, set it and forget it. Put your trade on, put in your stop and forget about it. You know, yeah. and that if you can't maintain consistency, that's a good way to get started mm -hmm. to building consistency. Just set it, forget it, turn your computer off, go do something else and then yeah. come back the next day and wait for your next setup. People don't believe me when I tell them I'm not in front of the computer a lot during the day. I put my orders in, and then I do, I do some other things. That's one of the reasons I enjoyed my time here with Mark because, you know, I, uh, those of you that have been to my house, well, there are huge 58-inch monitors that I have here that, that Mark and I bought and because we thought we were going to, you know, look at some a lot of different patterns at one time. It ended up he had his laptop and I had mine. They haven't been turned on for 15 years. They're brand new. Anybody wants them, well, we know. Too, too, too expensive to ship, but uh, <laughs> I just keep it as simple as uh, as simple as I possibly can, and and I tell people that, but you know they certainly they have a hard time getting through with it. But the mental part of this, though, polity, when I look back at all the stuff, and with Jimmy passing away, you know, recently, and he yeah, and I'm sorry. On the, oh yeah, I know, you know how close we were, but uh, yeah. you know, my goodness, uh, we we. Whenever we were visiting, we we would have trades on, but we'd never be watching the market. And you know what? I don't think the market really cared whether we were watching or not, because they never they never they never told us that they cared. So yeah, the markets don't take it personal when you're not watching them. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the understatement of the year. Anyway, do you have anything special that the folks could uh, contact you to uh, maybe uh, find out something that would uh, help them in their trading? Well, you know, I've got my workshops going every other month, uh, the power trading workshops, and we've got one coming up uh, the first weekend in March, and um, there's still room. We can do one-on-one -on -one workshops. Those are really popular, the one-on-ones. Uh, it's a two-day workshop. I've got a new book coming out, The Sagacious Trader, which talks further about promising to yourself to make an investment in yourself as a trader. Uh, that should be out in a couple, uh, probably a couple probably by June, but don't quote me on that just in case I get yeah. behind. But, um, but you know, just go to my website, politiweb.com, and, um, you know, the free call is, is always an option to just chat with me for 15 to 30 minutes, see if what I provide is something you're looking for, what traders are looking for, and um, sometimes that's all you need. Uh, lots of yeah. traders just need a little, just a little focus and – I give it to them and then they're on their merry way. And that, that really brings me a lot of happiness because that's what yeah. it's all about is helping others. I mean, you know that, Larry. So uh, Yeah, I've done a little of that in my, my past. Thanks to you guys for training me to do that from years ago. Even when we traveled to those distant lands like Mumbai. And, of course, we went to Mumbai. It was called what the hell was it? Bombay. That's how long ago it's been. Hey, listen, yeah, thanks for right. joining us, sweetie. And uh, we'll have you on and again by, soon. And by okay? the way, uh, Tim Slater says hello. Yeah, you know, give me, text me his number, would you please? I want to okay. uh, get him on the line. He's the guy that started all these charts for laptops. Yes, folks. yeah, I, yes, and we were talking. Forty He's years ago, on Mark's book. Yeah, that's right. Forty years ago, we'll get Tim on the line here. He, is he still with Elaine? Yes. yes. Oh, good, good. Yeah, get, send it to me. I'll call him. Okay. We'll be right you back, might folks. think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up.
TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I've uh, got to put a chart up here of uh, corn. This is uh, spot corn. Going back to uh, 2020, uh, you'll notice here that uh, that's uh, four years ago. We're down at the 78% level of that move uh, right here. But, folks, just about every year, uh, you can see here uh, April, May, there's going to be some. Here's April, May, June. You can see this is when you have your – here's a, here's your summertime rally, okay? Here's one in the spring. Here's another one in the spring. I mean, we always have rallies in these things. Now, we're coming up here now. It's going to be rallying from a really different price level. But there's where we are going back. We had corn at 375 for many years, folks. Once it got to 475, they say, we'll never see that again. And, of course, we went to eight and a quarter. Now, this is a staple. This is the largest crop in, the, in our hemisphere, folks. And, uh, of course, the South Americans uh, do pretty good now. But uh, this is the biggest crop. We're very, very low priced. Uh, it's going to – we have the planning intentions. It's going to be coming out in about uh, six weeks. And the farmers are going to decide what they're going to plant. Now, look at this, folks. I mean, why is a farmer – just like back in here, why would a farmer plant corn? This is what happened here. They didn't plant any corn. And boom, when they needed it, look what happened. It quadrupled in price. We went from went from $3 to almost $9, for heaven's sakes. So this is what we're looking at. We want to find something like this, a really good opportunity. And I'm searching for it as we look at it. Now, what we'll do here, since we're looking at this, we're just going to blow this up just for kicks and giggles and see where we are on the ABCD front because we always like ABCD. Now here was a 382 rally. We had. Now this is a weekly, okay? This is a weekly. So we see we had a nice move down. Now I wonder what that went to. Let's just double check. We'll just mark this is what we call the mother of all patterns, folks. When you get a 382 like this, oops, it's 50%. Let's see how close it is to 382 just for kicks and giggles. This thing is usually so accurate that it doesn't miss by much. Yep, it, there's the 382 right there. So it says 50%, but this is the actual one. You can see by this retracement right here, there's a 382. And then we come down and look where we are setting up right now, somewhere in this ballpark. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg right here. 414. The low so far has been 415. Now, 
<laughs> you can't get any closer than that, folks. We've had a little bit of a bump here, but not very much. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at this through the eyes of December corn, because that's when you want to be watching. So we're going to come over here. Give me one second. And um, get up the December corn. Here's December corn, and we're going to put it up on the weekly. It'll be a little bit different, but we want to put this together so we can see it. Where we are going back here, you can see there's a difference in the in the crop months, but the, the lead month is the one we want to be looking at. So here's where we are right now. The A, B, C, D on this move measured to 47, 47, 473. Now we're 457. This is corn that has not been planted yet. So what we have to do is we have to look at the other A, B, C, Ds that are in this program. So we looked at the big one. Now we've got a couple of smaller ones in here, don't we? So that's the first one we're going to look at is this one right here. This is the ABCD right here. And you can see that measure down to 474 and we're at 457. But we've got another one here too. We have to measure this ABCD from this one right here down to that one. You're going to see we start getting down closer. Now we're at 465. We have one other thing to measure, and that is the expansion of this weekly range from May through July. Remember, July is when they have trouble with the crops and stuff. And the 1.618 on that one comes in way down here at 436. So what this is telling me is December corn. And remember, December corn is selling for 17 cents more than the, the July corn that we're March, March or July corn that we're looking at right now. So they are already saying that they don't believe the farmers are going to be planting a lot or they are. The farmers are going to be planting a lot. And I think the farmers are going to surprise them. So I think we're at the point where you want to be ready to start buying corn. Now, let's look at this on the daily. You'll see this is much weaker than the other. You can see we've, uh, well, we just made another ABC down in here. But the March corn has held up above this. So this is what's in 457 for December, unplanted corn. If we look at the March corn, come over here and take a look at that again one more time. That would be right there. And it is selling for 424. So the 30 cent difference between the two. Okay, so that's where we've got to pay, where we're going to play the game. And I think this is where the week or so, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, uh, maybe during this lunar cycle that we have now that's going to be stretching through. But, boy, certainly next week we've really got to look for a reversal sometime to get long the corn. We're already long beans. We're already long wheat. And we have our stops in so far. You know, they're hanging in there. Okay, we've got to – well – we got a four cent loss in corn, uh, in uh, beans, and we have a, a four cent profit, a five cent profit in wheat. So we're we're basically uh, kits for the day. So still have our stops in, but these are the things that I'm looking at on the longer term basis because I think that uh, the fact that this hit that exact number uh, means a lot to me. And then it rallied. Let's see, it didn't rally much, but let's see where it did to rally to. You'll see it rallied a little more than you might think. It even gapped up here. Oh, this is the rollover, folks. This is the rollover from the March, so don't don't get excited on that, all right? <laughs> it didn't gap up uh, 17 cents uh, yesterday. That that did not happen. That's just when they – see, this is what this means over here is when they roll over from one month uh, to the next one, okay? Now, we had one other question, and that was about uh, – I don't even know how to answer it, but it's NVIDIA. But I'll, I'll give you my two cents worth, folks, but that's – and if you overpay, it's your own fault. So let me get rid of this out of the way here and I'll get rid of the corn out of the way here and what we want to do now is to come up here and look at the Nvidia and I really I think no matter what Nvidia does the stock goes lower that's just there's just too much hype if it if it's really really super bullish and believe me these things have surprised me in the past the time it gapped up Three hundred dollars or whatever. I said they could do that again. You know, there's no there's no reasoning why it can't because they got the wrong people on the wrong side of the of the fence. It's going to be easy. Here's the weekly. You can know we're trading at six sixty nine, which is near the low of the week. The low of the week so far has been six sixty six. Ooh, the devil's number. So that's uh, that's where we are right now. The ABCD on this swing measures to seven seventy nine. And uh, that high was 774, missed it by 30 bucks. Looking at this on a smaller time frame, you'll see it's been coming down and it is following 382s, folks. Here's the first breakdown. There's your first three. Well, it goes a little above the 382 there. Let's just go to the first break here. There's uh, the high. 
and the first break takes you to the 50% level. The second break is going to take you right to the 382, right there on the money, honey. There it is, right there. It's it one, two, three times, and then we're heading down. So um, the the if the results come out and they could easily go up to seven, this thing could move a hundred dollars, folks. I think it's going to be. I think, well, frankly, this is my two cents worth because I see this AI and how important it is. But I wouldn't be surprised to see it jump a hundred dollars on either bad earnings, good earnings, whatever earnings. It wouldn't make any difference. Wouldn't surprise me at all if it can do this. Look at this, folks. Go back here on the daily. Any stock that can gap like this. $150 in one day, you can do it again. So, for God's sake, you're going to short it. Use an option. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I bought the bonds when the show started at 1725. They've been as low as uh, 1721. I'm going to put my stop here at 1718. That's going to be eight ticks. Eight times 320 is $240. I'm risking $240. I think we've got a chance to rally from here. The reasoning for that is because of this big ABCD pattern that measures right here, 11723. 
But if it goes much below that, I, it, I don't even care. It, it just it's more than I want to risk. So I'm not going to risk more than $250, eight ticks in the bonds. This is the largest trading thing that we have other than notes. It trades, oh, God, just so many. The bond pit was like uh, watching three football fields. But the biggest pit of all in Chicago was the euro dollar, which is U.S. dollars traded abar abroad. It was like two football fields stuck together. You had to be six foot five and weigh about 280 and be stronger than a couple of billy goats to stay in that pit because it was so physical. They had, they had par par paramedics there. For broken stuff every day it was it was it was an animal pit is what it was anyway here's what we're looking at right here so have your stop working 117 uh 18 and that your risk uh, eight ticks and that's uh, more than you want to be risking so that's pretty much it so uh, tomorrow's guest will be grace morris of astro economics and on wednesday of course we're going to have the wizard of astrology direct from naples florida Norman, who tells it like it is, Winsky, will be our guest next week. We hope to have Stan Harley as our guest, also Bill Meridian, and Jim Bartoleone from Bart's Charts will be joining us uh, very shortly. So those are just a few of the things that we have coming up uh, in the near future. Keep that stop working, folks, because you don't know which ones are going to work, and you shouldn't care because – you never know which ones are going to work. That's the bottom line. So that's what we're watching for today. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. And I'll see you on the flip side come Monday.